everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kendra and today I'm going to be going through all of the series that I hope to continue in 2020 I have quite a few series to go through because I am the type of person where I never finish a series I really want to change that so hopefully one of my goals for 2020 is to check some of these series off my list and get them read. So I'm going to be going through all of these in different categories. So if you're not interested in a category, you can skip through. So I have romance, I have some fantasy, I have a dystopian, a couple sci-fi. So I'll be going through all of these that I'm that I'm still interested in reading. So I'm hoping to continue in the series to hopefully get some of these read. So first I'm going to go through all of the romance series that I'm in the middle of or have just started or whatever the case may be. So the first one I want to talk about is Landon and Shay and it's a duet by Brittany C. Cherry. I read the first book in the series last month so and I really really enjoyed it. It's a enemies to lovers um, and this one was set in high school. The second one's going to be set when they are adults and I'm assuming it's going to be more of a second chance romance. So I'm really excited to continue this series. The next one I want to continue reading is the Poplar Falls series by Amber Kelly. I read Rustic Hearts in November of this year and I loved it. It was a really really great book. It's a small town enemies the lovers romance and the second book in the series is called stone heart and this one comes out in january of 2020 so i am definitely excited to continue this series the next romance series i want to continue is the bennett brothers by stacy hart and the first one i read was coming up roses and i read that one in late summer early fall and I really liked that one and that one was a enemies to lovers and it was set in a floral shop and I really liked that aspect of the book so I really liked that one and I'm really excited to continue this series and the second book is called Gilded Lily and that book came out this month so I'm excited to check this one out and I'm really excited to continue in this series and read more about the different Bennett brothers and their relationships. The next one I have is The Becker Brothers by Candy Steiner. Um, I read On the Rocks and I read that one in the summertime. Loved it and it's a small town romance and the second one is called neat that one came out a couple months ago still need to read that definitely on my radar to read very soon and then the third book is called manhattan and then the fourth book has just been announced and it is called old-fashioned and that one is going to be coming out in the spring of 2020 and it says it's going to be the final book in the series so Definitely, definitely going to read all of those books because I love Candy Steiner. She is one of my favorite romance authors and anything she writes, I will read. I don't even care what it's about or anything. I will read it. So I'm definitely excited to check out the rest of the books in the series and to check the series off my list. The next romance series I have is The Hoop Series by Kennedy Ryan. I read Long Shot this year, earlier this year. That was a an amazing book. It was very, very hard hitting, very, very brutal. So I think that's probably why I haven't continued in that one yet because, oh my gosh, like that will literally rip your heart out. So I still need to read Block Shot and hookshot. So I definitely want to continue in this series. I really loved the, fir the first book, so hopefully I can knock off this series in 2020 as well. The next one is another Candy Steiner series and it's called What He Doesn't Know. And I read the first two books in the series. I read What He Doesn't Know and What He Always Knew. Loved both of those books, gave them both five stars. And this series was around the main character and she is married and a old fling comes back into her life and she has she basically is trying to figure out who she wants to be with so the third book is about 
the relationship of the guy that she didn't pick. So I basically completed the duet. So the next one is just a companion novel of the series. So I feel like I definitely haven't missed out on what happened, but I definitely do want to know about the relationship of the guy that she didn't pick. So I definitely want to continue this one and get this one off my list as well. I said before I love Candy Steiner, so I know I'm going to love this book. I just... I just need to read it. The next series that I want to talk about that I want to continue is The Wild series by K.A. Tucker. I read The Simple Wild at the beginning of this year and loved it. It'll probably be one of my favorite books of the year. And this was a Enemies to Lovers and it was set in Alaska and loved it. Then she announced that she was going to continue in the story of the two main characters and I couldn't believe it. So I am super excited. The next book in the series is called Wild at Heart and it's gonna be coming out in March. So I will definitely be checking that out because I can't wait to read the next book. The next series I want to talk about is the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward and this is a paranormal vampire romance and I read the very first book which was Dark Lover and I never continued in the series. Why? I don't know. I really loved Dark Lover. It was really, really good. And I definitely want to continue reading more books in this series. I know there's a ton of them. So I just want to continue checking more of these books off of my list and hopefully get the series read eventually. The next series I want to continue reading is the Kiss Quotient series by Helen Huang. I read the Kiss Quotient last year loved it. It was so good. I thought it was really funny. And the next book in the series is The Bride Test. And I've heard amazing things about this book. Why I haven't picked it up, I have no clue. But I know I want to definitely pick it up very soon. And then also the third book in the series is called The Heart Principle. And this one is going to be coming out in 2021. So that's really exciting. And I'll definitely hopefully read that book in 2021 when it does come out. The next series I want to continue reading is the True North series by Serena Bowen. I've read Bittersweet and Steadfast and the first two books were set on a farm so I'm hoping the rest of the books are also set on the same farm. I love the first two books so like I've said before why I haven't continued in reading the series I have no clue. I still need to read Keepsake, Bountiful, Speak Easy, Fireworks, and Heartland which is a new book that will be coming out in 2020. So hopefully I can read some more of those books because I really, really enjoyed them when I did read them. The next series that I want to continue reading is the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I read The Deal and The Mistake, and these are both hockey romances. So I still need to read The Score and The Goal, and I enjoyed the first two books, and I just need to read the other two, so... I can finish the series. The next series I want to continue reading is the Vicious Cycle series by Katie Ashley and this is a motorcycle romance series. I read the first book which is Vicious Cycle and I still need to read the other two books which is Redemption Road and Last Mile. So hopefully I can continue reading those books in 2020 and finish the series. The next series is the Wild Aces series by Chanel Clayton. I read Fly With Me, which was a Air Force romance, I believe. So it's a military romance. Loved it. It was so, so good. And the other two books I still need to read is Into the Blue and On Broken Wings. Why I haven't continued this one, I don't know, because I really liked the first one. So hopefully I can definitely make it a priority to read the other two books in this series. The next series is the Dirty Deed series by Jay Daniels. I've read Four Letter Word, and if I remember correctly, this one was about this girl, she ends up calling the wrong number and they end up having a romance together. I can't really remember how they end up getting together, but I know she called them by accident. I do want to continue reading that one. I've read that series. It's been a few years now, so I definitely want to finish it off. The other three books that I still need to read is Hit the Spot, Bad For You, and Down Too Deep. The next series is 
the King series by T.M. Frazier. I read King. This also, this has been a few years ago. I remember this being a dark romance. I really, really liked it. And I remember that book leaving off on a cliffhanger. So why I never read the second book? I have no clue. So hopefully, I think what I'm going to have to do is end up reading, rereading the first book. And I kind of remember the ending of that book, but not super clear. So I'll probably reread the first book, which is King, and then continue in the series. So the second book is Tyrant, the third book is Lawless, and then you have Soulless, and then Preppy Part 1, Preppy Part 2, Preppy Part 3, and then there's Up in Smoke and Nine. So this is a kind of a long series, but I remember really loving it, and I definitely want to continue reading this series in 2020. The next series is the Royal Series by Aaron Watt. I read Paper Princess and Broken Prince. I read these a few years ago too. I remember this was basically like a guilty pleasure romance, and like I read this series so freaking fast, and I have no idea why I never continued the series. So the other three books I still need to read is Twisted Palace, Fallen Air, and Cracked Kingdom. So hopefully I can continue reading some more books in this series. The next series is Fostering Love by Nicole Jacklin, and I read Unbreak My Heart. Absolutely loved it. It's a military romance, so and I remember I cried like crazy in this book, so I definitely want to make a priority of reading more books in this series. In 2020, the other ones that I still need to read are Change of Heart, Heart of Glass, and Peace of My Heart. A another series I definitely want to make a priority is The Ones Who Got Away by Ronnie Lauren. I read The Ones Who Got Away. All of these books are sent around a school shooting and it's about the different friends and when they're adults. So I still need to read The One You Can't Forget, The One You Fight For, and the last one is the one for you. So I definitely, like I said, I want to make this one a priority to read in 2020. This series I've read years ago and I remember loving the first book. If I still would love it now, who knows, but it is The Whiskies by Melissa Foster. The first book is called True Blue. So what I remember of this book is the hero is trying to get custody of his little brother because his mom had a drug overdose. He ends up meeting the heroine at like a supermarket and it's their romance. So I remember loving it because basically it's like he's almost like a single dad. So I really like that trope and I really enjoyed it. So I definitely want to continue reading in the series and see if I like the other books. So the other ones in the series is Truly Madly Whiskey, Driving Whiskey Wild, Wicked Whiskey Love, Mad About Moon, Taming My Whiskey, and The Gritty Truth. Yeah, I definitely want to read at least one, one other book in this series and see if I like it so I know to continue on in reading the rest of the books. And then there's two series that I started recently that I definitely want to continue reading. The first series that I'm currently reading is Dating by Numbers series by Megan Quinn. I'm currently reading Three Blind Dates loving it. It's really, really good. So I definitely want to continue reading the other two books in a series, which is Two Wedding Crashers and One Baby Daddy. Pretty sure that would be a priority as well, this series, because I'm really, really loving the first book. And then the next one is a holiday romance series that I started, and it's the Winter Series by Ellen Hildebrand. And I read, or I'm currently reading, Winter Street and really, really loving it. So I want to continue reading the series. And the other books are Winter Stroll, Winter Storms, and Winter Solstice. And I definitely want to continue reading this one in December since they are holiday books. So those are the romance series that I really like to finish reading. I know that I want to make my romance books more of a priority because that's just what I've been in the mood for these last few months. So hopefully I'll be able to continue checking more of those books off my list. Now I'm going to go through the different genres such as fantasy, thriller, sci-fi, dystopian. So the first fantasy series, which is more like a paranormal middle grade series, is the Cassidy Blake series by Victoria Schwab. I read City of Ghosts and Tunnel Bones, and I've 
really enjoyed both of those books. I read them both in the October time frame last year and then the year previous to that. And these are set around Cassidy Blake's parents. They have a paranormal TV show that they have and the first book was set in Scotland and then the second book is set in Paris and then the third book that comes out in 2020 in September is called Bridge of Souls and this is going to be taking place in New Orleans so I will definitely be checking this book out in October because it's a paranormal book and I really really have enjoyed the other two so I'll be definitely checking that one out in October and I'm super excited that it's set in New Orleans so that's going to be really fun. The next series that I want to talk about is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I read the first book A Court of Thorns and Roses and the second one A Court of Mist and Fury. Loved those books so so much. Um, why I haven't read the third book? I have no clue, which is A Court of Wings and Ruin. Um, why? I don't know. I, I love the first two. And this is a Fae series that is amazing. So, and, it, and it's very romance heavy. I definitely want to finish the third book in 2020. That's definitely going to be a priority. And then there's books four, five, and six that is untitled, so who knows when they'll come out. The next one is a Curse Breakers series by Bridget Kimmerer, and I read A Curse So Dark and Lonely the beginning of this year. I really liked it. The next book comes out in January, which is A Heart So Fierce and Broken, so I may read this one. I'm not really sure yet, but... It's on my list. The next one is the Wayward Children series by Seanan McGuire and I read Every Heart a Doorway, loved it, gave it five stars, and then the second one, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, I was not a big fan of, so that's probably why I haven't continued in reading this series, but these books are really really short and, and each book is set around a different world that these children go into. So the other ones that I haven't read yet is Beneath the Sugar Sky, In an Absent Dream, and Come Tumbling Down. Since I didn't like that second one, I'm not really sure when I'll continue the next three, but they are really, really short, so at least they're easy to get through. The next series is Girls with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. I read Girls with Sharp Sticks the beginning of this year. I really, really liked it. And this was set in a boarding school and I like books about boarding schools. I may continue in the next book, which is Girls with Razor Hearts. And this one comes out in March. So I may check this one out, not really sure, but I did really like the first book. The next one is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nang. And I read Girls of Paper and Fire, really, really liked it. And I really remember enjoying the first book. So the second book is Girls of Storm and Shadow, and I may continue in this one. I don't know. The first book was good, so who knows. And this is going to be a big shocker, um, the Harry Potter series. I've never read all the books. I've read the first three, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I have not read, well actually I read half of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I still need to read Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. Um, these books continually get super super long and I get super intimidated by reading long books so that's probably why I haven't finished it. But I definitely do want to continue reading Harry Potter. I mean I feel like th these books are a classic and I feel like when we have children I think these will be great books to read to them so I definitely want to read these and hopefully I can read at least one or two more in 2020 and hopefully checking more of those books off of my list to read. Another series that I read this year that I really really enjoyed was An Ember in the Ashes series by Saba Tahir and I read Ember in the Ashes, loved it, gave it five stars. Um, and then I still need to read A Torch Against the Night and A Reaper at the Gates. I definitely think I will continue in reading this series because I really, really loved the first one. I thought it was really, really good. But there is a fourth book that is untitled, so I definitely want to read at least one more book in the series in 2020. The next one is a sci-fi series that I read earlier this year 
which is called The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. I really, really liked The Similars. It was set again at another boarding school. I think I want to continue on reading in this series. And the next one is The Pretenders. And this one comes out in 2020. So I may check this one out. Another series that I started this year is The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. I read The Kiss of Deception. I really loved it. I love the romance in that series. Why I haven't continued, I don't know. The other two books I need to read are The Heart of Betrayal and The Beauty of Darkness. I definitely want to read at least one more in a series in 2020 so I can continue reading this series and get it checked off my list. Another series I started is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chokshi. And I read the first book and it was good. I felt like it was kind of confusing at times, so I may continue reading the next book in a series, which comes out this year in September, and it's called The Silvered Serpents, so maybe. We'll see. This one will be a uh, surprise. The Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I've read Illuminate and Gemina. I haven't read the third book. Why? I don't know. So I still need to read Obsidio. I have it. Haven't read it. Maybe I'll read it in 2020. Another series I, I think I definitely want to make a priority is The Ark of Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I read Scythe. Loved it. It was very good. I really loved it. The other books in the series that I need to read are Thunderhead and The Toll. And I've seen The Toll. It's another very, very long book. So that makes me nervous. I think I definitely want to at least read Thunderhead in 2020 so I can continue reading more books in that series. Another series that I want to continue reading is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. I read Throne of Glass. I really really liked it and this is about assassins so I still need to read Queen of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ashes. So hopefully I can read at least a couple more books in 2020 because I really did like the first one. So hopefully I can check more of these books off my list. And then a couple thriller series that I want to continue is The Collector Series by Dot Hutchinson. And I read The Butterfly Garden. That book was crazy brutal and it was good. So I definitely want to continue reading that series. The other three books in the series are Roses of May, The Summer Children, and Vanishing Seasons. So hopefully I can read more of those books in 2020. The last series I want to talk about is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Meniscosco. And I read Stalking Jack the Ripper, loved it. The other three books is Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil. I really, really want to continue reading in this series. Um, not only is it a thriller, but it's also historical fiction, and I love historical fiction, so hopefully I will at least read a couple more books in that series in 2020. Well, those are all the series that I hope to continue reading in 2020. Let me know in the comments which ones I should prioritize more than the others, or which ones I should just take off my list, period. Let me know in the comments, and until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye!